Hello, in this video we're going to look at Lebesgue's theorem on bounded convergence. And let's review what the theorem says. It says a, F, a sequence of functions, say f of n, all measurable on a set E, and that's Lebesgue measurable, such that the limit of these f of n's goes to f of x. Then the sequence, then if the sequence is un, uniformly bounded, and that means that there's a constant m such that the absolute value of the f of n's are less than or equal to m, and that's for all n, then we have this equation here. The limit of the integral is the integral of the limit, which, and then this by definition is f of x. So this is often used in a lot of the theorems that we prove and here's a little proof of it. So we know f of x in uniformly bounded by m and that this limit goes to f of x then it follows that f of x is less than m. Then then uh, f of x is bounded and measurable and thus integrable, Lebesgue integrable. Must show that this is equal to zero. Okay? And we could technically break this into two pieces, take this and, and subtract it over, but since it's you know you can take the integral of the difference is is the is anyway, so we're, we're gonna prove this. Now it's easier to show this relationship here. So this is we say is zero. So if we take the absolute value of it, and that's going to be less than or equal to the you know bringing the absolute values in. So if we can show that this is zero, then this is zero, which implies that this is zero, which implies that this relationship holds. So that's our game plan for this video. Now we're going to set up some disjoint sets here. Now this, this is integrable we assumed on the set E. And now we're going to create some disjoint measurable sets of E in a unique way. So the first set E1 is going to be that these are all less than epsilon. And so the one really means it's the first one that is less than epsilon and then everything past that is less than epsilon. So then E2, it says that you know this, this F minus F2 less than epsilon is the first and of course all these are less than epsilon. But this one is greater than epsilon. Now E3 means you know that this is the first one less than epsilon but the one previous is greater than epsilon and now the F minus F1 can be anything in this situation here. So if we repeat this, then EN equals this relationship here. Now, it can be shown that the union of these disjoint intervals, or these sets, indeed go to E. And since they're disjoint, we can think of them as going from one, from one to n, and then n plus one to infinity. <clears throat> and so, since this does limit to e, then the, you know this is is broken up into disjoint sets. Now, if you let n go to infinity, this one keeps growing, growing, growing until it reaches e, and this one ends up going smaller, smaller, smaller. And so if we, if we generically let them be represented by Sn and Rn, we can break up this interval into two pieces over these disjoint regions. So now, one note on Sn, so that's the union of all these E's, these sets, disjoint sets, then it says that this function is less than epsilon. That's part of that definition of that region. And on R, 
we do know that since the functions are bounded that we have this that if we look at this function here that's less than or equal to the sum of the absolute values and each of those is less than m so that's less than or equal to 2m so so yeah so then by the mean value for Lebesgue integrals we have this and and basically what that leg this says the mean value for Lebesgue integrals is that if you look at and remember this is two pieces which is this and that so here the 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 measure of SN is what this is and then epsilon is actually the upper bound of this right and so it, it actually says that there's some there's some value between the infimum and the su supremum of this uh, set here that it equals this but if you just take the biggest that this can be then it's less than or equal to and so we do the same thing here and so this is part of this mean value for Lebesgue integrals so we take the measure of Rn and then we have it times the maximum of what this can be and so this integral is is uh, less than or equal to this by by this theorem so now one note that we said earlier is that the limit as n goes to infinity of s n in in it, it goes to e so the limit of the measure of these goes to the equals the measure of e the original set that we're integrating over and the limit of this r n which i'm gonna call residual the piece that you know gets smaller and smaller and goes to the empty set so the measure of that goes to zero so we have you know if we take the limit of this integral and then it says the limb soup the limit supremum of this is less than or equal to this measure and that is and we get that based upon you know this this, this go the measure of this goes to zero so it goes away and we're left with just this here so now since the limb supremum is less than or equal to that if we let epsilon go to zero so it says the limb soup is equal to zero as epsilon goes to zero and if the limb soup goes to zero that means the limit infimum is zero which says the limit is zero and because this limit exists this is what we needed to show to prove the the uh, the theorem, the, the bounded convergence. So anyway, that's all I have for today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I sure did. And like it and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.